Hey guys, this is Sunspan with the Dota 2 item preview. Magic Stick is an early game item. You gain one charge every time a visible enemy casts an ability in the 1200 AoE. Each charge restores 15 health points and mana. You get a maximum of 10 charges for the Magic Stick, but if you upgrade to a Magic Wand, you can get 15. Soul Ring is a great early game item. It provides 3 health point regeneration per second, 50% mana regeneration, and when used gives you 150 mana at the cost of 150 health. So this item is usually picked up on heroes with good health point regeneration, such as any strength hero that needs mana desperately in the early game stages. Also, if you don't use a spell within 10 seconds after using it, the mana you gained will be lost. Phase Boots are an excellent pickup for any ganking hero. They passively give you 60 move speed, plus 24 damage, and when used give you a 16% movement speed bonus for a short period of time while allowing you to also walk through creeps. Hand of Minus is a somewhat popular pickup on jungler heroes such as Prophet. It passively gives you plus 30 attack speed and gives you the ability to kill a creep on use. The good thing about this is you also gain 1.5 times the unit's normal experience as additional experience and you also get 190 static gold. Boots of Travel are considered the best late game boots available. They passively give you plus 95 movement speed, which is by far the most of any of the boots available, and also give the ability to teleport to any allied unit or structure. The buckler is usually picked up as a prerequisite to a mechanism. By itself, it gives plus 5 armor and plus 2 to all attributes passively. When used, it also gives plus 2 armor to allied units in a 700 AoE. Urn of Shadows is a very good item to pick up on pretty much any hero, most importantly, ganking heroes. It passively gives you 50% mana regeneration and plus 6 strength. It also gains charges based on enemy heroes dying within a 1400 AoE of you. Think of each charge as basically a health pot. When used on an ally, it heals them for 400 health points over an 8 second period. You can also deal 150 damage over 8 seconds with this if used on an enemy. Just remember, if this is used to heal, it'll only cancel if an enemy hero attacks you. Medallion of Courage is an excellent item to pick up when you have a heavy physical damage dealer on your team. It passively gives you plus 6 armor and 50% mana regeneration. But when used on an enemy, it decreases yours and their armor by 6 for 7 seconds. This also works on Roshan. Arcane Boots are a very popular pickup on any mana intensive hero. They passively give you 65 movement speed and plus 250 mana. When used, it restores 135 mana to allies in a 600 AoE. Mechanism is one of the best support items you can pick up. It gives plus 5 to all attributes, plus 5 armor, gives you Mechanism Aura, which is plus 4 HP regeneration and 500 AoE, and then gives you an active heal. When used, it heals teammates for 250 health points and gives plus 2 armor in a 750 AoE. The Pipe of Insight is one of the best items you can get against a magic intensive team. It passively gives you plus 11 health point regeneration per second and plus 30% magic resistance to the holder. When used, it gives ally units within 500 range a shield that blocks for 400 spell damage. The Force Staff is a very versatile item. It passively gives you plus 10 intelligence, plus 10 damage, and plus 10 attack speed. When used on any unit, it'll push them 600 units in the direction that they're facing over a 0.3 second duration. This can also be very helpful in escaping as it lets you go through cliffs and trees. Necronomicon is considered one of the ultimate support items to pick up. You can upgrade it to level 3, and at level 3, it passively gives you 24 intelligence and 16 strength passively. When used, it summons two units, one named Necronomicon Warrior and the other one a Necronomicon Archer. When the warrior attacks, it has 75 mana feedback and a 1000 range AoE true sight. It also deals damage to the person that actually kills it. The archer can burn mana for 225 and passively gives 9% movement and attack speed. Yule's Scepter of Divinity gives you plus 10 intelligence, plus 150% mana regeneration, and plus 25 move speed. When used on an enemy or an ally, it creates a cyclone that makes the unit invulnerable to attack for 2.5 seconds. This can be used in a variety of situations, both offensively and defensively. The Dagon, considered the ultimate troll item, can be upgraded to level 5. At level 5, it'll passively give you plus 21 intelligence, plus 3 to all attributes, 
plus 9 damage, and an energy burst active spell. The burst at level 5 deals 800 magical damage to the enemy unit that you're targeting. The Veil of Discord gives you plus 5 armor, plus 5 HP regeneration, and plus 12 intelligence. It also gives you an active ability called Discord. When you use Discord, any enemy in a 500 AoE gets a debuff placed on them. This debuff basically amplifies magic damage placed on them by 25%. So if you have a very magic intensive team, this might be a great item to pick up. Orchid of Malevolence gives you plus 20 intelligence, plus 30 attack speed, plus 45 damage, and a whopping plus 225% mana regeneration. It also gives you an active ability called Soul Burn. When Soul Burn is used on an enemy, it silences and amplifies the damage they take by 25% for a 5 second period. Considered a very late game luxury item, the Refresher Orb passively gives you plus 5 HP regeneration, plus 200% mana regeneration, plus 40 damage, and gives you an active ability called Reset Cooldowns, which I'm sure you can guess resets all of your cooldowns on all items and spells. Certain items such as BKB and another Refresher Orb won't work though. The Scythe of Vice, otherwise known as a Sheep Stick, passively gives you plus 35 intelligence, plus 10 strength, plus 10 agility, and plus 150% mana regeneration. The Hex ability, which should be obvious by now, turns any enemy into a sheep for 3.5 seconds. Shadow Blade, otherwise known as Lothar's, gives you plus 38 damage and plus 10 attack speed. The most important part of this, obviously, is its active ability called Windwalk, which allows you to go invisible, which gives you 20% movement speed bonus, as well as the ability to walk through creeps, and also, when attacking out of it, you'll deal 150 bonus physical damage to your target. The Ethereal Blade gives you plus 40 agility, plus 10 strength, plus 10 intelligence, and an active ability called Ether Blast, which is very unique. When used on an enemy, you and the enemy become ethereal, basically taking 40% extra magic damage, but not being able to attack, or be attacked by physical damage. The target unit is also slowed for 60% for 3 seconds, and is dealt a base 75 damage, plus 2 times your agility in magical damage, which is why you usually want to pick this up on an agility hero. Manta Style is a very popular pickup on a variety of heroes. It passively gives you plus 26 agility, plus 10 strength, plus 10 intelligence, plus 15 attack speed, and plus 10% movement speed. It also gives you an active ability called Mirror Image. The stats on Mirror Image can vary depending on if you're a melee or a ranged hero, but essentially it creates two images of yourself which deal a lesser amount of damage and take more damage. It's very good for pushing, very good for confusing your enemy. Blade Mail is a very good pickup on any hero that takes a lot of damage. It passively gives you plus 22 damage, plus 5 armor, and plus 10 intelligence. The active ability is called Damage Return, and when activated, any damage you take is dealt to the enemy as well. Keep in mind that the damage dealt to the enemy is pure damage, so it's going to be the exact same amount that you take. Probably the most popular pickup for any carry the Black King Bar, otherwise known as the BKB, passively gives you plus 10 strength, plus 24 damage, and an active ability called Avatar. When used, Avatar gives you magic immunity. Now the duration of this is what you need to keep in mind. On first use, it lasts 10 seconds and decreases by 1 second on each use. The lowest it can get is 5 seconds. Shiva's Guard gives you plus 30 intelligence, plus 15 armor, a freezing aura which actually reduces the attack speed by 25 to all enemies in a thousand AoE and it gives you an active ability called Arctic Blast. When used, Arctic Blast emits a freezing wave around the caster that deals 200 magical damage and reduces the enemy move speed by 40% for 4 seconds. Helm of the Dominator is one of the requirements for Satanic but by itself it gives plus 20 damage, plus 5 armor, a lifesteal passive that gives you 15% lifesteal on attacks, and an active ability called Dominate which allows you to take over any neutral or creep for 20 minutes. The Diffusal Blade comes with 8 charges which we'll talk about in just a moment. It can also be upgraded to level 2, but keep in mind that the charges do not stack. At level 2, the Diffusal Blade passively gives you 26 agility, 10 intelligence, a feedback passive, and a purge active ability. The feedback ability 
essentially burns mana to the target that you are dealing damage to. It burns 20 at level 1 and 36 at level 2. Also keep in mind that the amount of mana you burn is also the bonus physical damage that you have applied to the target as well. The purge ability can be used to remove buffs from allies or slow enemies. It also automatically kills summoned units. Mjolnir is a very interesting item that isn't really picked up too often. It's an upgraded maelstrom that gives you plus 80 attack speed, plus 24 damage, an active static charge ability, and a passive chain lightning ability. The chain lightning ability gives you a 25% chance when attacking to release a chain lightning that hits several units. It hits 4 units to be exact and deals 160 magical damage to each. The static charge ability is usually placed on allies. When they're attacked, they have a 20% chance to proc a lightning spell that deals 200 magical damage to the target that is attacking them. The Mask of Madness is a very intriguing item as it's basically risk versus reward. It passively gives you 17% lifesteal on attacks and also gives you an ability called Berserk. When used, Berserk gives you plus 100 attack speed and plus 20% movement speed, but it also causes you to take 30% extra damage. The Satanic is a very late game luxury item and it gives you plus 25 strength, plus 20 damage, plus 5 armor, and an active and a passive ability. The passive ability is basically lifesteal at a 25% rate, which is very high, and an active that gives you ridiculous 175% lifesteal for a 3.5 second period. The Smoke of Deceit is an excellent ganking item. When used, it applies invisibility and 15% move speed to every ally in a 1200 AoE. It prevents you from being seen by wards and also prevents you from being seen on the minimap. But if you get within 950 AoE of an enemy hero or tower, the buff will wear off. The Armlet of Mordigian is a very unique item, but not picked up very often at all. It passively gives you plus 9 damage, plus 15 attack speed, plus 5 armor, plus 5 health point second regeneration, and an unholy strength active ability. When used, it actively gives you 31 damage, 10 attack speed, and plus 25 strength while it's active, but also drains 37 health points per second, which cannot be reduced. Think of this as a toggleable ability that you can just leave on as long as you have enough health to support it. The Drum of Endurance is a support item picked up on a regular basis. It gives you plus 9 to all attributes and plus 9 damage. It also gives you an Endurance Aura and an Endurance Active Ability. The Aura gives plus 5 attack speed and plus 5% movement speed and 900 AoE. The Endurance Active Ability gives you plus 10 attack speed and plus 10% movement speed during a 6 second period to allied units in a 900 AoE. It comes with 4 charges and you can actually just replenish it by repurchasing the recipe. Thanks for listening guys. As always, remember to subscribe to Dota Cinema, your home for Dota 2 videos, and also check out Dota2Portal.org as well as DotaReplays.org. My name is Sunspan, and until next time.